good morning today we will study about critical solution temperature what is critical solution temperature how it is determined how the critical solution is determined for various uh, system for example let us consider partially visible system phenol water for example phenol water is a partially visible system what do you do by partially visible system uh, for example if you take 5 ml of phenol and i add water the two will form separate layer the two will form separate layer okay what is uh, visibility and uh, phenol and water are only partially visible binary system it will form a phenol and water form a partially visible binary two component system okay it will form two layer suppose if you take ethanol if you take ethanol five ml of ethanol and water it will form completely visible system remember it will form completely visible system what is visible what is the solubility what is visibility solubility is the uh, dissolving solid in liquid solubility is nothing but dissolving solid in liquid visibility is dissolving liquid in liquid what is visibility liquid in liquid dissolving liquid in liquid whereas solubility is solid in liquid okay so they are uh, both uh, same okay on same thing now we have taken five of phenol and adding water to it on shaking two layers are formed two layers are formed phenol layer and this is phenol layer because the density of phenol is 1.07 okay therefore it, uh, it is at the bottom layer phenol layer is at the bottom layer this is the water layer at the top okay the phenol layer consists of now phenol layer consists of little quantity of water dissolved in it phenol layer consists of water dissolved in it because uh, water is solid in parity solid in phenol water is water is sparingly soluble in phenol similarly phenol is sparingly soluble in water therefore phenol layer consists of small quantity of soluble water in it and the aqueous layer or water layer consists of small quantity of small amount of uh, phenol dissolved in water layer okay so there are that therefore next we will see conjugate solution third point two saturated solution this is one saturated solution phenol layer saturated with water and this is uh, water layer aqueous layer saturated with the phenol okay therefore two saturated solution two saturated solutions of two layers they have different composition they have this composition is different this is the phenol will be large amount here water will be large amount phenol will be small amount so two saturated solutions of two saturated solutions two layers of different composition at equilibrium because they are, they are in equilibrium okay at particular temperature are called the conjugate solution are called as conjugate solution what are conjugate solutions uh, they will ask okay next effect of temperature what is the effect of temperature on heating for example let us uh, let us take phenol and water uh, in a boiling tube and it is uh, fit, it is fitted with the thermometer and this uh, it is placed in the boiling tube is placed in water bath heated water bath the water bath is heated on heating the on heating the water bath the temperature increases on increasing the temperature increasing temperature increases the mutual solubility of phenol in water phenol in water water in phenol okay on increasing the temperature the mutual solubility of the solubility of phenol in water layer water in phenol layer increases okay now if you keep on heat, heating and if you keep on increasing the temperature the, the two layers become one layer see at particular temperature the two conjugate solutions the two layers two conjugate solution two saturated solutions becomes one homogeneous solution or layer okay 
that is called visibility temperature. The temperature which the two layers becomes one is called homogeneous layer, is called the visibility temperature. Okay. Now, add, for example, you have first added 0.5 ml. Okay. Next, you add 0.5 ml. That was 100%. 100% of enol. As you do, as you as you add more and more water, okay, the composition of enol decreases. As you add more and more water, zero add zero point five ml of water at each time, the visibility temperature first is zero point five ml, visibility temperature is noted, and then you add zero point one ml, zero another zero point five ml, zero one ml. That's what you see. The temperature increases. The visibility temperature increases. The visibility temperature is noted and it is plotted. Okay. This graph shows the variation of uh, variation of variation of uh, temperature with respect to composition with respect to composition of phenol. Okay. Now the visibility temperature, as you see, the visibility temperature increases. The visibility temperature increases up to Point C up to point C that is 68 point C. What is the temperature at C? This is the temperature 68.1. Visibility temperature increases up to 68.1 degree and then started decreasing. And then it decreases. Okay. Okay, now what is this temperature? This is the maximum temperature, maximum attained visibility temperature. Attained visibility temperature. This temperature is called critical solution temperature or consolidated temperature. Okay. The critical solution temperature is 68.1 degree for phenol water system. Okay. You have aniline water system, it will, it will be different. It will be the critical solution will be different. So the temperature, temperature at C or above, the pair of the two Saturated solutions, the pair of two saturated solutions become visible in all proportions, in all ratios, in all amounts is called CSC critical solution temperature. What is critical solution temperature? The temperature above which, the temperature above which, the pair of solutions, the pair, the pair, pair means the two solutions, the two solutions, the temperature above which the two solutions becomes visible in all proportions is called critical solution temperature or consolidated temperature. Okay. Now next the important one is the tie line, the line joining A and B is called the tie line. What is tie line? Okay. Now for example at 30 degree Celsius there is no heating. There is no heating at 30 degree Celsius at room temperature at 30 degree Celsius for example. Okay. The composition of uh, water layer uh, Phenol layer and the aqueous layer. The composition of the phenol layer and aqueous layer are fixed or constant. Okay, at particular temperature, they are in equilibrium with each other. Okay, therefore, the concentration or the composition of phenol layer and the aqueous layer are fixed. For example, at 30 degrees Celsius, A gives A B gives the for example B gives the uh, composition of phenol layer because phenol more uh, more will be in this side will be phenol layer this side will be aqueous layer upon point at the 30 degrees this is 30 the time length the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius at 30 degrees Celsius A B gives the composition of phenol layer phenol saturated layer and A gives the because 100 per 0 percent A so this is um, richer in water. This, this, this side is richer in water. This side is rich 100% phenol. This side is richer in phenol. Phenol. So A gives the composition of A gives the composition of aqueous layer. Uh, that is two conjugate solutions of two conjugate A and B gives the composition of two conjugate solutions or conjugate bases. The the composition at the critical, the composition at the CSP, critical solution temperature is 36.1 percent phenol. Okay. So the remaining will be water. 36 means, uh, for example, 36, 74, um, 64 percent will be, 64 percent will be water. Okay. 
So, in the next class, we will study the effect of impurities on the critical solution temperature. Uh, how it is useful in determining the determining the concentration of the impurity. How much concentration of impurity is present in the phenol or in the oligol or in any system? Okay. So we will see uh, what are the different types of uh, partially visible system. We will see an example first, and then we will see what are the different types of partially visible system. Okay, for example, ether and water, it is not, it is not visible at all, whereas the ethanol and water, it is visible, completely visible. Okay, we will see there are different types of partially visible system, we have seen only one, one type and this is upper, the critical solution temperature is also called upper critical solution temperature because the, 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 the critical solution temperature is above the room temperature, so the critical solution temperature, for example, this is 68.1, room temperature is 30 only. Therefore, the critical solution temperature is above the room temperature, above a particular temperature. Then this, this critical solution temperature is called upper critical solution temperature. Okay, we will continue further. Thank you for watching.